Okay, let's see if we're live here. Okay, looks like we're good. Let some people pile on here. Sorry for the technical difficulties. I had to uh, switch the freaking live stream. And for some reason, YouTube is doing this stupid update where it has to like stream and you have to use an external whatever. It's out of my... Uh, out of my control. So, uh, what's what's going on, guys? Let me know where you're viewing from in the comments, and then uh, we'll go ahead and get into things because we got a lot to cover tonight. Um, and let me know what time it is there too, wherever you are, because uh, it's five thirty here. So, um, I'll be ready for dinner after this. But uh, should be a pretty good video. This this live stream. We're going to be talking about the Sea Otter Classic, which is coming up. Uh, next week, Thursday, so literally like 10, 10, 11 days. What is that, 10 days? Um, so I'm super pumped about that. I have like a whole list of, look at this. I have a, a whole list of things, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I'm just getting started. So I got a lot of uh, cool footage planned for you guys, a lot of cool videos uh, for the following weeks of the Sea Otter Classic. Um, and if you guys are, uh, who's it? If you're going to be at the Sea Otter Classic, let me know in the comments and then maybe we can link up there. Um, it's it's like, the, what are they? They said it's the, uh, this is this is the description of the Sea Otter Classic um, on their Facebook page. Regarded as the world's largest cycling festival, this four-day celebration of cycling hosts nearly 9,000 professional and amateur athletes and 72,000 fans. Um, and so this is the 29th annual Sea Otter Classic. So 72,000 fans is insane. I'm going to be running around like a uh, chicken with my head cut off. Um, but anyways, we got a lot of cool other things to uh, check out. So um, if you guys don't know already, um, it seems like a lot of people in the mountain biking space hang out in the uh, Instagram world. And so Out Here Pedaling has a new Instagram account, which is, I'm, I'm super excited about that. Gonna start posting on there. And you guys um, might even get some uh, early content before the video posts. So um, I'm gonna be doing that. Um, and let me know what you think of the Instagram like profile picture. I worked uh, pretty hard on that. I know it's just an Instagram picture, but I think the logo looks cool. Um, and also, also let me know, um, man, I forgot what I was going to say. Just a second. I'm reading comments here. So I just posted the, the Instagram, uh, link in the comments below. Uh, if you guys want to check that out and, and, um, and give me a follow if you're on Instagram so we can build that page. Um, and like I said, I'll be posting uh, ride ride pictures there, and um, you guys will probably get early content before the video posts up. So um, the next thing, hold on, let me see. We got comments rolling in here. Uh, I just got a new bike. What'd you get, man? Um, my bike just got a facelift. I uh, I got some all mountain frame protection, and just sitting right back there. But I'll show you guys in just a second. But I got some uh, all mountain style frame protection. Um, I think I bought it off of Jensen, either Jensen or Amazon. But uh, I got the digital camo one, and it looks freaking amazing. It turned out awesome. Um, I may not have used it in the same or the, in the correct areas where it's supposed to be mounted, but you know, it is it is what it is. I mean, if you can, if you ordered it, you can use it however you want to. So, um, fly high MTB. What kind of bike did you get? I'm curious. The, uh, let's see, a 2012 Trek Mamba just uploaded a bike. Check the video. Nice. Um, is the Trek, is that a full suspension or a hardtail? And I assume you bought it off of a uh, pink bike. Um, but uh, the Sea Otter Classic is going to have tons of demo events. I mean, um, I'm, I'm going to be visiting the uh, Chain Reaction Cycles tent for sure because they have uh, the Nuke Proof bikes um, on demo. They have the Vetus bikes on demo. And uh, they also have, I think, a BMX brand, uh, which I, I mean, doesn't pertain to me. But the Nuke Proof and the Vetus, um, I'm definitely going to be checking out at the tent. Uh, so it's a hardtail, and I bought off a pink bike. Cool, cool. That'll be a fun bike. 
Um, trucks make good bikes, obviously. Um, so like I was saying, um, I need your guys' help real quick. So on Friday, I have the option to um, demo either. So they're going to, Chain Reaction Cycles has their demo fleet there, right? So they're going to have a whole lineup of hardtails, full suspensions, and things like that. So I'm trying to decide whether I need to uh, demo a Nuke Proof Mega 275 or the, the Vetus Escarp 29er. Um, so let me know in the comments which ones you guys would rather see in a video on a review. Because um, I already have the Centier, and I ride the Centier on all of my videos. I know that Vetus makes good bikes, um, and so I don't need to really demo a, a, the same bike that I already have. The whole point of a demo is to try something new, and uh, I could see myself in the next year or so um, purchasing a trail bike, um, either, uh, I mean, I love the Vetus that I have now. Um, and so I'm excited to hop on a full suspension and see what it's like. So the Vetus, they have, they have two uh, full suspension bikes there. They're going to have the Summit, and then, uh, they will have the, um, the, uh, Escarp there too. So the Escarp is their trail bike. And then the Summit is their Enduro style. Like, uh, it's like 170 millimeters of travel. So, um, it's a little bit more aggressive and I can't decide which one I want to do. So I guess it's really between those three and I have them written down in my notes here, which is why I keep looking at my phone. So let me know in the comments, which video you guys would rather see a nuke proof mega 275 or a Vetus Escarp 29er or a Summit uh, 275. So, um, I, I mix, I don't know. I love the Vetus brand and I love the look at them. Uh, the look of the bikes, but I'm just torn between the two. So I kind of on my, I'll give you guys a little insight to my schedule. If you are planning on going to the Seattle classic, um, let's see. This one is not for you. Oh, yeah. Red rooster 701 says nuke proof. Yeah, I know, man. Okay. So you guys can win a nuke proof mega. Did you know that? So the chain reaction cycles, uh, tent is, I, I guess it's just the company chain reaction cycles is doing a nuke proof mega giveaway and you guys can actually, um, enter to win. And it's super simple. You don't really have to do anything. Let me see if I can drop a link, um, in the comments in the live chat, and then you guys can check that out and you can enter for free. I'm not, I'm not like promoting this. I'm just, I, I would, it would be awesome for you to win a nuke proof mega. So, uh, davedirt.com is, uh, it'll send you right there. And then uh, you can enter to win a new proof mega, and it's worth like twenty four hundred dollars, twenty five, twenty five hundred bucks. It's it's amazing. I mean, it's a well spec bike, and it would be super fun to win. Um, but yeah, maybe that's a good idea. Maybe I do the new proof mega uh, two seven five uh, for a demo ride on Friday. But anyways, looking into my schedule for uh, the Seattle Classic, I'm pretty excited about this. Um, if you guys don't care, let me know in the, in the live chat. <laughs> um, but on Saturday, so um, there's a Sid and Mackie group ride. I don't know if, if you guys have been here um, since like we lived in New Mexico. Um, in New Mexico, there was a group ride that we did. Um, where the hell was that? Hey. Glorietta Camps. Thank you. She's great. Glorietta Camps, um, New Mexico, Sid and Mackie, they're pro, they're pro enduro riders for Vittoria. Um, and they, they put on one hell of, uh, one hell of a bike clinic. So I did that and there's a video on my channel, um, riding with those guys and it was so much fun. And so they're having a group ride on Saturday and I'm going to join them again for, it looks like a two hour group ride. And I'm super excited about that. So that'll probably be another, uh, another video that you guys will see on the YouTube channel. And then on Saturday, right after the group ride of Sid and Mackie, I'm going to the drop and roll show. Now, if you guys don't know what the drop and roll show is, you are missing out. It is the Danny Macaskill, uh, um, and let's see who else is with him. Uh, let me look it up real quick. Just a sec. I have the schedule pulled up right here. Let's see. Anyways, it's okay. Danny Macaskill, uh, Fabio Widmer, and uh, Duncan Shaw. And uh, 
these guys do their trial runs and they have a big trial course set up um, for the drop and roll show. So I'm super excited to see that because you guys obviously know Danny Macaskill and he is incredible on a freaking trials bike and on a bike anyways. Um, full suspension, hardtail, it doesn't matter. That guy can freaking – he it, any bike he steps on, it's easy for him. So – uh, super excited about that drop and roll show. Be looking out for content on that too. Um, man, you guys are going to have so many videos uh, for me. And then on to, to end Saturday, um, I'm going to the Fox Factory um, and Box Components raffle. So uh, the Fox Factory, they say that you can win a fork um, and different other components of theirs as well as box components. So I'm pretty excited about that because who doesn't like free stuff, right? Who doesn't like free stuff? So speaking of Seattle Classic and, and you know, talking about this big day coming up next week, um, I decided to make shirts for this, which I'm super excited and you guys will have access to. But uh, Chain Reaction Cycles puts on uh, the Day of Dirt. So if you guys can see this, let me know if you like this in the comments. Um, it's a super cool shirt. Check this out. Just made it myself. Came up with the design. Um, and then a little bit of out here pedaling brand recognition there. Day of Dirt, got the downhill rider. I think it's a I think it's an awesome t-shirt. Three quarter sleeves. Um, it's super comfortable and I'm pretty excited to wear it next week. So if you guys want this shirt, let me know in the live chat um, where you can find it. And uh, I'll post that link for you guys. Uh, but I don't want to steer you off of the video too much. So what else is new? Let's see. Oh yeah, so uh, if you guys caught the Santa Cruz video, so not the best of Wilder Ranch, but the um, the UCSC Santa Cruz video where Gary took his crash, I wanted to give you guys a little upgrade or update on uh, Gary. So he sent me a text right after uh, the day. The next day he went into the ER and he sent me a text and he said he cracked. Um, his wrist and he bruised his rib and uh, I gotta find the pictures that he sent me because it is gnarly you need to see you you got to see what they did to his wrist it's insane let me see if I can find the picture real quick sorry I'm not very prepared so the first picture <laughs> the first picture he sent me was the next day and it was him in a hospital bed like this. I'm gonna have to look up. Um, I have to look up his his Facebook and pull up the picture. I don't have it. Okay, so this is his wrist. Uh, they had to go in and do more surgery, and they put in a titanium plate um, on his radio. It looks like. And this thing wraps around his entire radial, and it looks like an extra hand, to be honest. But look at that. It comes all the way around the bone. It's like little fingers that wrap around. Poor guy, man. He's just, he's been on bikes his whole life. And then he's done that trail a million and one times. And it just happened, you know, it's terrible luck, but shit does happen in the sport. And, uh, I mean, he knows that he's been on a bike long enough to know that there's risk with this sport, but he was having fun. He's done that line a million and one times. And then just this once, just something, something crazy happened. And, uh, he had to get titanium in his, in his wrist. So, uh, send him some good wishes. Hopefully, um, he'll have a speedy recovery and can get back on his bike soon because they're saying sometime. Uh, they're saying possibly he could never ride his bike again, which is not something that any of us want to hear as mountain bikers because that that sucks. Um, and then <laughs> to top things off, he had sent me a text yesterday and he said that I just got to looking over my helmet after the crash the other day and he split it from front to back. So all the way through, he didn't send me a picture of it, but uh, man, it's that's insane. I mean, he hit hard. And when I was there, I was like, good Lord, I can't believe it. Like it was, it was a, the worst crash I've ever seen in person. So anyway, send your best to Gary. That's an, that's an update on that. 
if you didn't catch that video, there was some really good riding in there besides the crash. Um, go back through my videos. It's the Santa Cruz. Um, I think it's called like Santa Cruz NAR or something. <clears throat> Let me look here really quick. Looks like we got some more viewers here. We got six or so. Um, let me know where you're viewing from in the comments and uh, say hey to you guys. Okay, so the video is called Santa Cruz Downhill Trails on a Hardtail. And so they were they, they were steep trails. They were probably the steepest trails I've ever done um, on my bike. And uh, made for a good video, but uh, that last crash of the day was not necessary to say the least. Okay, so what else? So we got uh, the Instagram page that's up um, out here pedaling Instagram page, which is super cool. I'm pretty excited about that. Start posting. If you guys are on Instagram, make sure you check that out. And uh, the Sea Otter Classic next week, which I'm super excited about. We've covered that and uh, the schedule. Also, uh, you guys can win a Nuke Proof Mega. Let's see, we've covered that. And if you go to, I've already posted it in the live chat here. Uh, dayofdirt.com, uh, you can enter to win that for that Nuke Proof Mega, which I'm super excited about. And uh, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Oh yeah, Gary update. And I think that there was one more thing I wanted to tell you guys about. Oh yeah, anyways, let's, you know what, let's move on. So the other day, um, a big mountain biking company, I will say, reached out to me, which I've been waiting for this day for a long time uh, since I've started my channel. And they sent me a few things. They're like, hey, we got, I know you got the Sea Outer Classic coming up and we want to send you a few of our items so you can, uh, you know, be like fully kitted is what they call it, you know. Um, but uh, they sent me a jersey. They sent me some new pedals, which you guys may have seen in uh, like where I post on YouTube. And then um, I went ahead and topped it off. They didn't send me the all mountain style frame protection, but uh, I went ahead and topped it off with that. So I'm going to uh, go get my bike so I can show you guys. But anyway, let's go over this first. So here's the jersey they sent me. So a new proof jersey. Now I bet you can guess who reached out to me the other day. Um, and if you have a guess, put it in the live chat because, man, I'm super excited. I'm not, they're not my official sponsor yet. Um, nor have we even talked about it, but I'm super excited that they're watching my channel and I'm glad that I can provide them with great content. Uh, but they sent me this awesome jersey. It's got um, elbow pads here, super breathable, lightweight, and uh, I'm pretty excited to uh, pretty excited to try that out. And also, you know what? I should have taken these off for you guys. Okay. So I wind these up here. So check this out. I should have taken these off. This is a real pain in the in the real pain in the butt. Look at this. Okay, so they sent me these uh, Nuke Proof Sam Hill Edition flat style pedals, which are amazing. They feel huge when you're standing on them. It's like you're standing on a two by four. <laughs> It's crazy, but uh, I'm super excited to test them out. I haven't even, I haven't even got to the trails yet with them, uh, but they look awesome. And then, if you guys notice, get that out of the way. But here's my all mountain style frame protection, the digital camo right here. So I put it on the side, and then also put it up here to continue to go around the Vita. And it's the same on this other side here. And then I put it on my chain stay protectors, which I'm, which look awesome. Check that out. I think it looks cool. What do you guys think? I had to put it back here too, uh, right here on the backside of the seat tube. What do you think of that? I think it looks freaking good. And the pedals kick it off. It just kind of took over like a new black look. Like it, like. 
uh, Dark Knight almost. It looks super cool. And then you guys already know that underneath, I already have a down to protection. Underneath, that's an old video if you've been around the channel for a while. So I'm pretty excited about that. I kind of refaced the, the bike for the Sea Otter Classic and I can't, I can't thank uh, Chain Reaction Cycles enough. They've been great. They've been great and I've been waiting for a company to reach out to me for the longest time um, just because it's like a stepping stone. It's like a goal which I'm super excited about because working with Chain Reaction Cycles would be amazing. Um, anyways, let's see. I got to attend to the comments here. Got a few coming in, so let's see. I cracked my helmet over the weekend uh, during a race. Dang, man, you got to be careful out there. Were you on your new trek when you crashed? Or no, did you get the, did you get the trek after you crashed, or was it this? Um, looks sweet. Yeah, I think the bike looks awesome. Uh, it's, it came together well, and uh, I don't know. I don't know how well the all mountain style frame protection works. I never used it before, so if you guys have, let me know in the live chat. I'm pretty excited to see how well it holds up. It seems like longevity would be something that I'm looking for. And also. Um, probably about three weeks ago, I decided to put new tubeless sealant in both of my front and rear tires because I used slime before. And if you go back in my videos, you can find that video. It's called like tubeless sealant or going tubeless made easy, something like that. Let's see. What is it called? I have it right here. Um... It's not going to show me for some reason. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. It doesn't matter. But if you go back through, if you go back through my videos, you'll find it. It's like going to bliss is easy. And I had slime sealing in there and it actually lasted quite a long time. Probably, I guess it was nine months or so. It's like seven, seven to eight months, I guess. And it hadn't dried up yet, which I was pretty surprised. Um, it wasn't quite as full when I started. And to be quite honest, it didn't seal up the holes as well as I wanted it to. So I decided to rinse all that stuff out and I put stands in. And I had, I've had really good luck with the stands. I was kind of nervous at first because my rear tire has been like beaten to heck. I mean, that ride in Santa Cruz where it was really steep just about did my rear tire in. And that was the first ride after I put the stands in. So I was really hoping that it worked and sealed up and it sealed up just fine. But before that, I actually bought a new tire and I'll go grab that real quick. I forgot to grab it. I'll show you guys which one I bought. So I bought a new Balby Rocket Ron, and I was pretty excited to use this tire because they say it's a super fast tire and has loads of grip, and tubeless is easy going on this. So if you have uh, any experience with Schwalbe tires, let me know. If you're running Schwalbe's currently, then uh, that would be something uh, it's pretty cool. But I, I'm looking forward to running this tire. I was going to use it as a rear tire. And when we get back home, so that's another thing I got to tell you about because you guys don't know, but uh, we, we're travelers, right? So we travel around last, let's see, July through September or October, we were in New Mexico and I had an awesome time riding out there. We travel for uh, my girlfriend's work and uh, right now we're in California. Uh, brings us to the Central Coast area, which we're pretty excited about. Um, it's been it's been okay out here, pretty expensive living, but um, it's been fun. A lot of good riding and a lot of good experiences out here for mountain biking. But coming up in June, we are headed back towards home, and home for us is the St. Louis, Missouri area. Now, uh, I will still be continuing the channel. Don't worry. There's plenty of mountain biking in the St. Louis area. I think there's like 130 or 140 miles worth of trails uh, in the metro suburban area of St. Louis. 
and a lot of cross country racing out there, which is going to be awesome. And then um, we're really close to Bentonville, Arkansas, which is like Kohler Bike Park. And uh, I've heard that Bentonville is actually a little crazy. So I'm excited to get this new uh, Rocket Ron on my bike. I probably. I'll probably do front and rear with with uh, Rocket Ron, just because if I start racing cross country, I'm going to need a fast, low profile kind of tread uh, tire, not anything too aggressive like I need out here. And so um, that's pretty good. I'm pretty excited about that. And I think that is all I have for you today. So let's do a recap really quick. So we talked about the Instagram page. So out here pedaling's Instagram page is up and running and I have my first post up there. And I'm super excited about that to start posting on there for you guys. And you guys will get some preview, uh, a preview of video content on there. And what else? We talked about the Sea Outer Classic and what kind of videos you guys are gonna get. And hopefully you're gonna get a few group rides. You're gonna get at least one bike review either of the Vetus Escarp or the Nuke Proof Mega. It's probably going to be the Mega, I imagine. I I don't know. I really like the the, the Escarp too, but it's a 29er. If I was going to buy a Vetus Escarp, it would be a 27 and a half. Um, I like the 27 and a half. I think it's more playful. But um, And then the, uh, yeah, the, the couple group rides. Let's see. The Fox Factory Fork Giveaway. And then the Drop and Roll Show with Danny Macaskill. And uh, that's going to be awesome. I'm super, super excited about that uh, because I've never seen Trials live. And what better person to watch than Danny Macaskill at Trials? Because, like I said, that dude can jump on any bike and be the king of it. So uh, what else did we talk about? Oh, yeah. Uh, the shirts that I made for um, this, this event, kind of check that out. If you guys like the shirt, you can pick one up. I'll drop uh, the link in the live chat so that way you guys can uh, check those out and let's see what else what else what else so oh, good we got some comments coming in let's see any tips on picking a size when ordering online the best thing that i can tell you uh who said that shane the best thing i can tell you is that what i did is i read probably thousands of reviews and tried to find someone my height and weight uh, specifications. And if it wasn't, then you can go into like the question section of whatever you're trying to, whatever bike you're trying to buy. And you can ask the question if you have an account. You know, so let's say that you're you're trying to buy off the Chain Reaction Cycles website. You can create an account, it's free, and then you can ask a question in there. I'm 5'8, you know, 150 pounds in my case what size should I buy? And most of the time those are consumer answers. So people who've bought a bike there before will give you, you know, Hey, I'm the same height and weight as you. And the large fits me like a glove or the medium or, or whatever the case is. So Shane, I would just ask questions on the site wherever you're trying to buy a bike. That's the best way, especially ones that you get consumer reviews to. And if you don't have the option to ask a question, I would search, for reviews relentlessly. I mean, don't stop until you find the right review. Um, and then look for like demo days, you know, just like the Seattle Classic coming up next week. They have tons of bikes I can demo. I mean, all of the bikes that you see on Chain Reactions I can demo. Um, let's see, Gorilla Gravity is going to be there. Who else is going to be there? Canyon Bikes is going to be there. I mean, just just a ton of bikes that I have a chance to demo and to so be looking out for free demo events that you can actually hop on a bike and see which one fits you best. And then like most bike brands have charts on height and weight uh, that you can put yourself in a category and then find the right frame size. That's what, that's what I did. I did a mix of, of those two things. I, I asked a question on the website and then I looked at a chart and read reviews. That's just, that's the easiest way to do it. Um, and yeah, it is kind of a gamble, but it is what it is. Um, but uh, yeah. So anyways, what do you guys have for me? Anything? Who's going to the uh, Sea Otter Classic? Anyway, who's from the U.S.? 
let me know in the live chat if you're actually from the U.S. Um, and uh, have you ever been to the Sea Otter Classic? So let's see. He's kind of in between a large and XL at six foot. Okay. Yeah, and that's kind of where I, w I was in the weird place between a medium and a large frame on my bike. Um, I could have gone with the large, but the bike wouldn't have been so playful and nimble. But the medium, honestly, it feels just like a tad bit too small for me. But it's, like I said, playful, nimble. I have a good time on it. And that's that's all that really matters. So it is, it's, it's a little bit of a gamble. But you read enough reviews, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. No doubt you'll be fine. Okay, I think that's it, guys. This is a 30-minute episode. Thanks for joining me live right here on YouTube. And uh, share us. Share the Out Here Pedaling YouTube page with all of your friends. Let them know what's going on. I'm going to be handing out some free stickers at Seattle Classic. And I'm uh, going to be sporting the shirt because I love this shirt. I created it myself. I'm actually pretty proud of it. And uh, if you guys want to help support the channel, you can purchase these shirts as well. Um, and even if you're not going to the Seattle Classic, but if you like the design, then check them out. Uh, I'll post the link actually right now. So that way you guys can order the shirt before we get off of here. Oh yeah, one more thing. So don't go just yet. Okay, so here, there's the link to um, our apparel section so you can pick out this shirt in there, but don't go just yet. There is one more thing. So if you guys have noticed, I've been commenting on all of my videos and saying that I'm starting a weekly newsletter of all of the MTB deals online. And so what I've been doing is I've signed up to like all of the big um, online stores out there like Chain Reaction Cycle, Jensen USA, Competitive Cyclists, Evo, um, who else was on there, Backcountry, um, and more. I've signed up to all of those and I get weekly emails of the of all of their online MTB deals. And what I do is I compile it into one newsletter and then I send it out to you guys once a week. So that way it takes out, um, <laughs> I'm getting 500 emails a week instead of you guys because I know that that's super annoying. You have to sign up to like multiple companies. But if you wanna sign up to my newsletter, it's only once a week on Tuesdays, the same day my video launches. And you guys can have all of the uh, MTB deals online from the major stores. So if that's something that you're interested in, you can check that out too. I'm sure that you'll find, um, I'm sure that you'll find the link somewhere. And actually, let me go ahead and post that too if you guys want to sign up for that. So the live chat's going to be full of links tonight. Got the Instagram. We got a chance to win the new Proof Mega. Got our apparel collection, and now, whoa. I don't want that. Hold on. Let me get you the right one here. I have to log in and get you the right link. Sit tight just for a second if you guys want to sign up for that. I hated it. Man, I was like signed up to like 50 different online things and uh, it was super annoying because it would send you like two emails a day. So I just decided to consolidate everything and share it with you guys. And it makes it easier on you. A little more work for me, but not bad. Okay, so let's share this just a second. Okay, so now I got the right link. Okay. So now we have all the links in here. The one, the first one was for the Instagram account. The second one was for dayofdirt.com. The third one was for the collection, so you can check out this t-shirt. And then the fourth one was for the sign up for the newsletter. All right, so be looking out next week. I'm super excited to get you guys uh, the videos from Sea Otter Classic because there's gonna be a lot of good things that I'm gonna find there and meet. I got, I'm probably gonna meet Seth Spycax, which is super cool. Um, definitely going to get an autograph from Danny Macasco, which is awesome. So a lot of fun things coming up in the channel for the upcoming weeks, 
But uh, until then, make sure you share us with your friends and uh, I'll see you on, on next week's episode. Peace out, guys.